Our lives are ruled by numbers. Almost anything can be quantified and measured using numbers, whether it be money, our weight, or the galaxy's number of stars. The earliest evidence of counting in human history dates back more than 50,000 years, reflecting the intrinsic curiosity of the human intellect. Numbers continue to direct our lives in ways you might not even consider, thanks to ancient tally systems. One reason is that most modern technology, including mobile phones and laptops, uses numerical codes and algorithms. Additionally, different civilizations have assigned various meanings to particular numbers. You might be shocked at how little you truly know about numbers, despite the fact that you work with them every day. See for yourself while you watch. Zero was first understood at different times and by diverse cultures. The concept of zero was reportedly initially addressed by the Indian mathematician and astronomer Brahmagupta around 600 AD. The number 100 does not truly equal 100. The Old Norse word hundredth, which really signifies 120 instead of 100, is the source of the English word hundred. With the same number of letters as its value, only one number may be written. For letters also make up the numeral four. It is the only number with this characteristic. Tally marks were the first type of numbers, and they were discovered on prehistoric bones and artifacts. The Sumerian and Babylonian civilizations of Mesopotamia and Egypt were the first to use a tally system. Numbers differ depending on the language. Numbers are arithmetic objects that are used to count and measure by definition. The symbols that symbolize numbers are numerals. We currently employ what are known as Hindu Arabic numbers. India produced the Hindu Arabic numeral system between the 6th and 7th centuries. The only number that doesn't have a Roman numeral is zero. Between 900 and 800 BC, the zero symbols were first used. People think that prime numbers are a way for aliens to contact humans. Carl Sagan asserted that aliens are attempting to contact mankind by sending signals using prime numbers in his 1985 book Contact. Any number that can only be divided by itself and by one is considered a prime number. For instance, the factorization of 17 only includes 17 by 1. 17 is a prime number as a result. There is a group that searches for the largest prime numbers. George Woldman established the Great Internet Mersenne Prime Number Search, GIMPS, in 1996. GIMPS has discovered 51 of the largest and newest prime numbers since it was founded. GIMPS also found the largest prime number that is currently in existence. The biggest prime number that has been discovered so far is 24,862,048 digits. It is now known that 2 to the power of 82,589,933 to 1 is the greatest prime number. It was found on December 7, 2018, using a supercomputer Patrick LaRoche offered as a gift. The identifier is M82589933. The machine totaled up more than 82,000,000, 82 2s, deducted 1, and arrived at this value. The only even prime number is 2. Because it can be divided only by 2 and 1, 2 is regarded as a prime number. The only even prime number is 2, as all other even numbers may be divided by 2. Furthermore, 2 is the smallest prime number. There are 43 quintillion possible permutations of a Rubik's Cube. The various configurations that a set can have are known as permutations. There are more than 43 quintillion, 43 quintillion, 252 quadrillion, 3 trillion, 274 billion, 489 million, 856 thousand potential configurations for a 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. However, according to Google's supercomputers, each one can be resolved in 20 moves or fewer. In France in the 18th century, Voltaire devised a lottery system. The theft of the lottery by Voltaire deserves to be in the Number Facts Hall of Fame. Voltaire is well known for his not-so-illegal lottery heist in 18th century France.
Voltaire was one of the most prolific writers of the Enlightenment. By manipulating the lottery, Voltaire made the equivalent of 121 million US dollars in today's money. What exactly did he do, then? He and mathematician Charles Marie de la Condamine found a means for tiny bondholders to purchase enough tickets for a likely win through the lottery system. Voltaire and de la Condamine then came up with a scheme to take advantage of the system without actually breaching the law. Voltaire utilized his gains to support his ventures and academic endeavors. The numbers 2 and 5 themselves are the only prime numbers that have the letters 2 or 5 at the end. Other numbers are composite numbers if they have a 2 or a 5. You can put it to the test on your own. Italians traditionally consider the number 17 to be unlucky. Because the Roman numeral 17 can be rearranged to form the word vixi, which in Latin means my life is over, Italian superstition advises against Friday the 17th. The record for the quickest time to count to 1 million is 89 days. The Guinness World Record for counting to 1 million is held by Alabama Jeremy Harper. He recorded every step of the 89-day process live on the internet. He counted loudly for 16 hours a day, leaving 8 hours for eating and sleeping. A single digit number multiplied by 9 and its product's digits added results in a sum that is always 9. For instance, 2 times 9 equals 18. 1 plus 8 equals 9, when the digits are added together. Similar to this, 6 times 9 equals 54. By adding the digits, you can also get the number 9 by adding 5 and 4. All multiples of 9 with a single number are subject to the same rule. The most favored number is 7. 10% of respondents in a research by math author Alex Bellos selected the lucky 7 as their preferred number. The number 7 appears in imagery throughout the Bible, and the triple 7 slot machine symbol also denotes the winning combination. Bellows claims that 7's uniqueness is the reason why it is so cherished. The only number from the range of 1 to 10 that cannot be divided or multiplied by 2 is 7. To safeguard the transmission of information, such as credit card numbers, online, the encryption technique combines straightforward, well-known truths about numbers. Two enormous prime numbers form the foundation of the encryption technique. The unique factors of two large primes are relatively difficult to find, which helps protect user data because prime factorization can be very difficult with larger values. The first method of locating prime numbers was the sieve of Erastothenes. The sieve of Eratosthenes is a prime factorization method developed by the Greek mathematician Eratosthenes about 200 BC. It also provided the oldest list of prime numbers known to humanity. Bees enumerate. According to studies, bees can distinguish between the numbers 0 and 4, as well as count to 4. Bees were trained to select a sample that contains more or less from an experiment. They eventually showed an 80% success rate. Thai folks frequently chuckle. I guess a number. The word for 5 in Thai is ha, which accounts for all 555s. It's possible that the sequence of cards in a pack has never been done before in the history of the universe if you shuffle it properly. A deck of cards has so many different possible combinations that, like Rubik's Cube variations, you can be creating history with each shuffle. Even numbers are perceived as female and odd numbers as male. A study found that people frequently mistook newborn images for either male or female depending on the numbers next to them. The four colors on a map. The four color theorem states that any map must contain four colors in order to prevent regions sharing a border from having the same color. To check, you can obtain the closest map. There will most likely be two persons who share a birthday in a gathering of 70 people. There is already a 99.9% .9 chance that two persons in a room of 70 have birthdays in common. In tennis, the term love denotes a score of zero. Some attribute the phrase's origins to the gaming idiom love or money, which refers to betting money or doing without. 
Others assert that it derives from the French term elof, which means egg, and that an egg resembles a zero. In East Asia, the number four is unlucky. Four-leafed clovers are not particularly popular in Asia. The number four is typically regarded as a bad omen since the term for it sounds like death in many Asian languages. Tetraphobia is the irrational fear of the number four. Whether you like them or not, numbers are inescapable. Despite what we now know about them, numbers still have a lot of untapped potential and qualities. We only only get one life, despite the tendency to measure it. The most crucial principle is to make that one life matter. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos if you liked our video.